There you go. 30 days, 17 hours and 22 minutes before we head off. So last week, wasn't really feeling it. Um, I've had probably seven days off now. So it's time to get cracked on. So we're in the, the garage area now. We've got to make some changes to the bed. But before that, you might have noticed the locker's gone. We're taking the locker down because we have a little job where we're going to put a privacy curtain in there. And we need to shorten the locker by around about two inches. What we're planning on doing is having a curtain that sits over on the left there and we can pull it across, pops it down there, just to give us a little bit of privacy. If you want to stay in bed or you just want a little bit of extra darkness up here, or just the opportunity to sit up here and get changed. And no, Darlene, it's not a shagging curtain. Walter, have a word. Could be what? It could be like a curtain from love. <laughs> <laughs> a curtain of love. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I've been a little bit of a seamstress today. Well, if you can call that seamstress. Magic hem or whatever they call it. We've done the bottom of the curtain. I've done it all, yeah. Lisa doesn't help at all. We've added some more popper studs down the side. Now, this is a double curtain and we've chopped it down. Uh, boo! We've chopped it down so it, it, and we're only using one half of the curtain. That's what I chopped off today. So time to go and fit that in. The rail is a is a grey colour. Not sure if I wasn't sure if it would work in the van, but I think with all the other grey and black that we've got in the van, I, th I think it works all right. It looks looks okay. A couple of days of being in and we'll not notice it. So I just need to offer everything up. I'm just going to put a screw in each end and see how it looks and how it behaves, and then. We shall go from there. I really can't see what I'm doing here. That didn't work. Right, I am back with glasses and task lighting I might be able to see what I'm meant to be doing now right we've ended up dropping about 20 screws um, and we've reverted back to the drill driver well that's the rail in and it looks it looks really tidy to be honest it runs really easily as well and I'm happy with that. So we need to establish where we put the top popper studs. It doesn't need to go all the way across. We're going to have a fixed point this edge and there is a little bit of stretch in them curtains. So I think what we'll do is we know where we want it fixed on this side. So we'll put them in first. So this is what we're using. The little studs with a screw in. This is what fixes into the timber. And then we use just, it's just a normal pop of stood on there. That one works. What we'll do now is we'll just pull it tight across here. So this is our, this is where the tightest part is going to be. That bottom and that middle. So we'll do that one first, I think. too bad and then I think if we just have something to catch it all here like a little tie or something I'll hold it nice in there I don't think we're even going to need to take off as much as I thought at first I'll have a little way up and see how it all goes well, this is what it looks like from the business end, and I like that. Got little puckers down there, but 
sure once it settles in they'll drop out so pull it back pop it up out of the way how will that look <laughs> I am trying my hardest to do this one handed it doesn't doesn't look too bad does it you can just quickly tie back like that it looks okay you can remember the mattress is going to probably end up around about this height so we may have to take a little bit more off there we might just leave that so it does have a little bit of a lip but that looks good i do have another clip that might be better suited for this so i'll go and try that and see what it's like definitely a better clip so what we do is just feed the curtain in just work it in there i'm doing this one-handed so it is easier but how about that that is a belting clip so happy right yeah. one privacy curtain clip privacy. Happy with it? Yeah, perfect. Brilliant. 10 out of 10? Well done. <laughs> now I expect to see this used on every trip. The effort that's gone into this, every trip. Yeah, I will get it. Yeah, I will. That's the easy bit done. Yeah. I've got to trim the locker now. <laughs> so, happy? Yeah, perfect. Good suppose we better check in it is day 28 we've got 28 days 19 hours and 42 minutes to finish this van <laughs> not long it's flying by to be right. honest let's make a start on this thing um so yesterday we marked it up today i've removed some screws that hold this front trim on and i think oh <laughs> I thought I was going to have to knock it off I got the hammer out so that's that piece off we'll cut that first and then we'll move this piece here we'll move this in to where we want to cut it and give us some support that's the end trimmed and dressed off filed up so Two inch off there we did we did cheat a little bit we used the grinder and then we just filed it up so just need to remove all these screws take the end panel off and that should uh, open the job up for us it's cold in the garage so i've had to don the emergency woolly hat that's that off We'll keep all them screws in the right places. So all we need to do now is roll that in 50 mil. We're right up against the hinge already, so let's see if that is far enough that's far enough okay so what we can do now is start drilling them back up but rather than just jumping straight in we need this the countersunk drill bit we 
do is we'll fix this one first, then measure. We'll measure off after that. That's bang on, two inch. Two inch. Two inch. Nothing's moved. So we'll go on to the next one. Just check. 52 mil, two inch. That's that one. Perfect. Nothing's moved, so we're just going to do one in the middle of here and one a little bit closer to the edge, I think. Happy days. So what we can do now is just trim all these off and then we can look at trimming this big bit here. Just here. Thank you. You want to put some clothes on? I've got cold, I think. Well, you're not going to kiss then. If you've got cold. She brings me a bro, then takes it away. I can't have been there. Can't have been a very good husband today. So that's everything done. We just need to trim this bottom edge. And I think I'll do that with the saw, the circular saw. Well, that's everything cut and tidied up. Just this long piece to do now. So I think I'll do that with the circular saw. I must be back on good list again. She's brought me a cup of tea. <laughs> I tell them you, I must have been bad because you took it away. Oh, have you been there the whole time? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I will, Lisa. See, I could have come out and said something. Well, this is, this is the risk. Mm. This is the risk you run. Yeah. Hey. Love you. Hey. Money ass. <laughs> right, let's look at cutting this. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm going to do a little upgrade, something I hadn't considered previously. So this is where the aluminium extrusion will sit. It'll come right over and sit at this point here. So I'm going to hide a screw behind that. I'll count the sink it and that'll hold this panel in place because at the minute that's the only edge we haven't screwed down. And I haven't done that on this one either. So what we'll do is, while we're here, we'll countersink a hole 
and put a screw in there as well just to give it that little bit more strength and I think we'll do this one as well this one yeah I've not done I've not done any of them hmm well how have I done this did I drill directional drill from the front that way it's so long ago since I did it I haven't got a clue but anyway we'll put one in there as well putting additional screws in but in all honesty we've never needed them before so for me it's just a little bit of peace of mind you know this has been together for well, best part of three years Lovely. Them three screws have meant I've had to notch out three sections on the extrude to accommodate them. Seems one job just leads to another. <laughs> Job done! Hey! Right, we'll just do these final couple of screws. And that is the end panel back on. That'll do us. Right, just the aluminium trim to stick back on. And the door to trim, I think. Right, let's have a little look. My name is Luca. I live upstairs from here. Like a glove. Oh, ho, ho. Perfection. That is good. Right, screws. And everything lines back up. That's how it's supposed to be. Well, we've modded the locker. It's now time to see my juggling skills. <laughs> I've got to try and hold this up with one hand and drill and fix with the other so I wish me luck oh. rest it on there get the drill in my hand what we'll do is we'll put one fix in in the back and then we'll go from there seems to be about where it should be
that actually went up quicker and better than I remembered. I think it must just be the fact that we've got it actually, um, I can walk around in here. Previously it's been a bit of a nightmare. <coughs> right. Oh, I think that's pretty good. So before I fasten the bottom rope, I'm going to put a door on and that will show us roughly how the frame sits. If it needs to be adjusted anywhere, we'll make some little alterations. That isn't too bad to be honest. How's that looking? That doesn't look too bad to be honest. So just to get things to sit right we've we'll put a look, couple of little packers in behind and uh, they'll just make everything line up. If you recall, we ran quite a few timbers across and one's there, because I ran the pipework down the back and the others are where we have the seam, the seams on the ceiling. So quite easy to find. So we've gone and fitted the doors back on and everything fits nice. So we've connected the lights back up as you can see both sides are on behind me as well. And it's just time to test run the curtain. So that's a little clip we put in the other day. Just peel it back from behind there and it pulls across effortlessly. Four popper studs hold it in place on this side and four on the other side. Well, I'm really happy with that, how it looks. This little bit here is a flap that will sit on the bed, um, so not too worried about that because the mattress is going to come up to about this height. And to put it away, it's just as easy as when you got it out. Roll it up. Pop it behind the clip and close it up. That's simple. Seconds. Happy wife, happy life. That's another big job done. I'm happy with that. That allows us now to crack on with the bed and the garage lighting. So I'm going to go and find that board and we're going to strike some items off it because we've done a couple of things today. Um, just pottering on, but we're getting there. Right, let's have a look on the list, see what we can tick off. Single bed's done. Cupboard mod is now done. Let's give that a bigger tick. Uh, indicators, yeah, we did the indicators today. I got five minutes and I did them. Um, blah, blah, blah. Privacy curtain hasn't got a box. Let's give it a box. Let's tick that off. Long mirror. Travel insurance, not done. Wheel, we've done the wheel. Got that done. Well, that's another big job done. Um, a lot of, it wasn't a big job, it was just a fiddly job. One of them that takes a lot of time. So we've got that done now, we've got the privacy curtain in. We've actually done quite a few jobs today, so I'm happy that that's, that's come about. One big job left to do, and that's the bed and the garage lighting. We'll combine them two jobs together. Once that's done, we're down to servicing and just fitting the strut tops. And then it's just making good after that. It is really just making good, adding a few nice little touches that we've wanted. I'm just reading the board that we've wanted 
and we possibly uh, needed as well. So everything's going to plan. Right, I'm off. I'm shattered. Doing this, going to work, coming back, doing this, going to work, come back. It's just starting to catch up with me a little bit, but I'm not going to let it stop me like it did last week. Um, I'm just going to do a couple hours and then have a rest. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm happy with that. Looks good. It just looks like it did before, but we now have a privacy curtain that you can't see. Well, actually, let's, let's have a little look. There you go. Little privacy curtain, all blacked out. Well, that's the end of another video. I'm actually sat here editing it and uh, the storm is raging outside. It's Saturday the day before we put this video out. Um, storm Bert, I think they call it. So the shots I would have done usually, I can't do so. We're inside today. But there she is, she's back on the scene. She's back helping out. She's back um, giving me jobs to do, lots of jobs to do, but it's, I'm not bothered. After the summer, after the year we've had, um, you know, nearly losing her in the summer has changed our outlook completely on life and um yeah it's been good it's been fun having her back in the van giving me all these jobs to do and such a short deadline to do them in but we're getting there we are getting there if you've enjoyed today's video um please hit the thumbs up button if you've got any comments stick them down below and we'll try and answer them as quickly as possible and uh if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We're 500 off the 10k mark and we're trying to break 10k before the end of the year. That was such an achievement and such a special thing for us. Um, and that's all down to you guys. You know, you the support we get from you and um, the kind messages really do make a big difference. So thank you very much. Thank you everybody who does that. And uh, if you haven't, why not? Give us a comment. Anyway, see you next Sunday. Thanks for watching again. Why not head over and check out our new website, www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and our Facebook group, The Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.